The Pali Theater is currently putting on a virtual performance of Much Ado About Nothing. To gain a deeper insight on the process of preparing for a play amidst the chaos of virtual learning and campus reopening, the Pali Voice interviewed theater director Sarah Thurman and three theater students. Here's what they had to say. This one we're doing pretty similarly to the performances that we did in the fall in terms of we are trying to have it be almost entirely live performance in Zoom. Um, so once again, you're watching actors taking their camera on and camera off cues themselves. Um, we have sound and video operators who are playing cues live as well. Prep's been going pretty well. Um, it's getting really intense this week because um, we have what's called Tech Week, where basically uh, we have rehearsal until like 9 p.m. each night and we run through the show and like work out all the a little issues and you know just make it as good as we can it, it's um definitely different being on zoom but um presenting some challenges but we've, we've had fun this is honestly one of the smoothest tech weeks i've ever been through which is really saying a lot since i've probably been doing theater since eighth grade and this is like the most smooth it's ever gone all right, so uh, we're just about to get started with rehearsal. A lot of actors are getting in hair and makeup right now, as well as costume. And so uh, here I am prepping my cue sheet. I have my script, water, notes, keyboard, and mouse. Uh, and this is just my way of uh, organizing things so then I can call to the uh, technician operators um, basically what they need to take for sound or video cues in the show. You have to mentally remove yourself from being in your room in front of your computer and like being your character and being in the setting because like for the, the audience sees like my little square and my virtual background and my costume, but I see my desk and clutter and a pile of books that my computer is stacked on. Um, so it's definitely like a mental challenge and like definitely a, an exercise to, um, to, to put yourself in the headspace of the show. If there are um, like, say there's a prop that gets handed off from one character to another, you would normally be able to just like, you know, hey, uh, character X hands this object to character Y, but on Zoom, you can't physically hand anything to people. So you have to make sure that people, like the character or the cast, I guess, um, has those like identical props and you can, in the blocking of the acting, have it so that they're, uh, it makes sense visually. Especially with Zoom theater, one of the biggest challenges is like, as an actor, um, I have to manage a lot of tech stuff too, in addition to like the acting. So I have to like change my virtual background and like make sure I turn my video on and, you know, manage my lighting and costuming and all that. So uh, it's, it's a lot to handle, but it's also really fun. In person, like a lot of the rehearsals are spent blocking the show and like figuring out who goes where and where you walk during said line and, and all that kind of thing. And, and with virtual preparation, um, it's, it's a lot more about like, um, how can you create a big and interesting reaction? So it's a lot of blocking more like specific things. Because of the nature of this play, there is more physical comedy than the shows that we did in the fall had. Um, you know, the shows we did in the fall, Clue had some physical comedy, but it was mostly very dramatic and character and dialogue based. And so what we did to compensate for that, since we had the option of bringing students on campus a little bit more in small groups, was that we took the scenes that are the most physical um, which include several scenes of people eavesdropping on each other and then a couple of weddings. And we brought students to campus in costume but masked. And we filmed them uh, performing the scenes in various locations around campus. It's kind of a new experience, which is fun. It's almost like making a film, but 
yeah, but only a couple scenes. Um, but it was really nice to like see everyone in person. Hi guys, yay, pre-recording stuff. Right now I'm doing some color correction and grading for the footage we gathered this past Saturday and Friday. And these will be used as pre-recorded sections to help establish the um, environment a bit more than you could in regular Zoom. It's bittersweet. Um, I'm lucky that I'm able to have this opportunity to work on something I'm so passionate about and especially on shows such as Much Ado. I think this year, since we did get a new program director, she took a lot of our, um, what we wanted to do, like as seniors, like what types of shows, uh, deeply into consideration. And so we all, a lot of us really wanted to do a Shakespearean comedy because most of them that we've done are tragedies and whatnot or we wanted to do a like classical literature play. So we were able to do that. And we also wanted to do a musical, um, which we were able to do Theory of Relativity, that's also coming up. I'm trying to make the most of it. Uh, trying not to worry too much about grades and schoolwork and like just trying to focus on uh, enjoying my last semester and savoring it. <laughs> I think we have a lot of really good performances going on, and I think when people think of Shakespeare, we all so immediately think of the big stage and the like grand gesture and the fancy language. And I think by having the show being performed in Zoom, there's a sort of natural process of it just feeling less academic and feeling more like, yeah, we're just two people talking to each other. And the language is still the same. The only thing we changed is that we changed all the location names to be Southern California names. Um, so uh, watch out for the uh, Prince of Bel Air to make an appearance because we couldn't resist making a joke for ourselves. Um, but I think when you can have the person delivering it, you know, so close to you and you can see their expressions so carefully, it, it makes the language feel a little more casual and I hope maybe a little more approachable. I'm hoping that uh, people will be able to appreciate these characters and the plot points a little bit more maybe than they might if they were more intimidated by the experience.